Hey guys, welcome or welcome back to my channel. In today's video, we're closing out the first week of August and opening up the second. So without further ado, let's go. So hey guys, as usual, we start these videos with calculating the expenses of the week. So let's just jump right into it. So health is 135 plus 45 equals 180. Groceries is 720 plus 4 plus 720 plus 10 plus 150 is 29.90. Dine out is 22 40 plus 220 plus 14 28 plus 5 plus 91 plus 6 is 50.79. Spotify, I paid for my yearly subscription for Spotify, so that's 36. That's the whole amount we had in the Spotify envelope. Beauty is 45, and then spending is 1940. Great, so the total for this week is. 361 euros and nine cents. So those are the expenses. And then let's uh, turn to our coin challenge next. So I have brought back my coin dispenser and let's count how much we have managed to collect. Ah! Oh, Jesus, <laughs> I fell down. So 40, 60, 80, one euro, 120, 130. 140, 150, 160, 170, 180, 190, 195. So 195 plus, I have to put this in my other hand. One, two, three, four, five, six, plus six cents is two euros and one. And it is crossed off. Okay, so we are gonna put this back into my coin pouch, into my cash envelopes, and then we'll roll it over. And then next week we will count again and hopefully we will manage to scratch off uh, one of the squares in our coin challenge. But I think this is the second week in a row where this happens, but it's fun. That means maybe I will manage to scratch off one of the bigger amounts. But okay, so we are done with those. And now let's move on to actually the weekly, oh Jesus, weekly budget. So with income, we did have 206, that didn't change. So the total we're working is 206. Let's check our cash envelopes for rollover. So groceries is empty, so we did spend 40. Spending has a rollover of one, two, three, four. So we did spend 21. And then dine out has nothing. So we did spend 50. So in total, that was 111 euros in cash envelopes. And we have left the budget 95 euros. Great. So help did actually ha get 15. Beauty, 10 travel gifts and rollover each of five. So that's 40. That's uh, we have 55 left and then here also nothing changed in our long-term sinking funds each got a one except retirement that got a 12 so 55 minus minus 12 is 43 and then christmas got five etsy got five charity into twos each got one so these leftover fours we're gonna stop into monday to friday so that's in total 14 rainy day got 15 and 30 for 30 got 30 so this should be 43 got two not 30 why did i say 30 it is indeed 43 which means we have zero euros left to budget which means we didn't mess up anywhere so let me take my big binder and i'll put in the four leftover euros in here if you have seen my videos, you've seen that I have changed this envelope because we did manage to stuff uh, the previous one. I will not take out the money right now and I will probably restuff it once this uh, challenge is complete because we only have this one envelope and a half of another one left. So I will think I will just roll over the amount and restuff this into my sinking funds at the end of the year. So today we stuffed four into the challenge. So that's one crossed off the row which corresponds to week 37 and we are well on our way because i do believe it's not week 37 yet in the year but yes yeah, so this was the weekly budget of week number one and let's set up our uh, weekly budget number two i will take this off so i have more work space to work with so our income 
why am I writing income? It's paycheck. Paycheck number two is going to be 443 euros. This is already in my account, so I know that it's there. So our cash envelopes, as usually, we have three. We have groceries, spending, and dine out. So groceries will be getting 45, spending is going to get 25, and dine out is 50. So in total, that's 120, which means we have 323 left to budget. And then our short-term sinking funds, we are stuffing health with uh, 50. Beauty is going to get 25. Then travel and gifts, each is going to get a 10. Then rollover is going to get a six and fun is going to get a five. So in total for our short-term sinking funds, that is 106 euros which means we have 217 left to budget. So long-term sinking funds, we have car, home, retirement, uh, pets, technology, weddings, and babies. So car and home each is going to get a five, retirement is going to get a 50, Pets is going to get a five, technology 25, and weddings and babies each a five. So in total, that's 100 euros, which means we have 117 left to budget. So here we have fully funded Christmas for this year, so we're not stuffing that anymore. And we also have funded our rainy day challenge, which was our building my emergency fund. So we have less categories here to stuff, but we're stuffing Etsy with 50. Charity is going to get one. And tattoos and piercings is also going to get one. And then Monday to Friday is going to get a regular 15. And then 30 for 30 is going to get 50. So in total, if we didn't mess up, this should be 117. Which, oh wait. Oh, why am I messing up numbers? Yes, indeed, 117 euros, which means we have zero euros left to budget, which means each euro of our paycheck has a place to go into our budget. So please come back tomorrow to see me stuff this money into my envelopes. For now, that's all. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, please give it a like and consider subscribing to my channel. We have fun over here. I'll be back very soon with more videos. But in the meanwhile, I wish you a very wonderful day and I hope to see you next time. Bye.